Welcome back to Western Cliving. Well, with the warmer weather, it means that bike enthusiasts are out enjoying the streets and bike paths again. Now, if you're one of the folks who may have purchased an electric bike or might be considering it this summer, it's important to know the laws and how they pertain to you. Happy to have with us this morning again, Stephen Sioka from Salino Law to discuss this topic. Stephen, good to see you again. Good to see you too, Kevin. All right, we've gotten lazier. Electric bikes are a thing now. That's just my commentary, not his <laughs> on that. But uh, they are more and more popular these days. We're seeing them out there. But what is an electric bike in the eyes of a law? So the law categorizes electric bikes in three categories. One is a simple one where you still have to pedal, but the motor will give you a little bit of an assist. The second category is one where you can pedal to power assist it, but it also has a throttle, but it only goes up to 20 miles an hour. And the third category is one which can reach speeds up to 28 miles per hour or more. So are like scooters uh, considered that electric scooters so electric scooters are considered vehicles but they can only go up to 15 miles an hour so if you see those people just standing on a scooter yeah. those are 15 miles an hour but the laws really apply to them the same way they do to these e-bikes all right well let's talk about e-bikes uh, where are folks allowed to ride these e-bikes so you may have seen them all over town people ride them on city streets as long as the speed limit is 30 miles an hour or under you can ride an e-bike. So it, you can't ride them on the throughways, the highways, that type of thing, but any city street, 30 miles an hour and under, you're welcome to ride them. Is there an age restriction on riding an electric bike? 16 years and over. Um, as long as you're over the age of 16, the interesting thing about these e-bikes too is even though some of them are fairly powerful, um, you don't have to register them, you don't have to insure them, and you don't need a license for them. All right, now that seems... Uh... Yeah, you said interesting. I think that's the appropriate word. <laughs> you have to wear a helmet. You do, and the same rules apply as a bicyclist. So if you are 16 years of age or under, helmet is required. After that, it is not, which is kind of interesting because mm. New York State requires helmets for motorcycles and the higher-end e-bikes that can go up to 28 miles an hour. That's pretty fast. Yeah. But you still are not required to wear a helmet if you are an adult. However, obviously, way smarter to do that. All right, let's talk about uh, in the unfortunate event of an injury on an electric bike, you're riding the electric bike, you're injured, who pays the medical bills? So it's going to depend. If you get hit by a vehicle, a motorized vehicle, then their no-fault benefits will cover your medical bills, your lost wages, prescription costs, that type of thing. Um, so you are covered by no-fault only if you're riding an e-bike that cannot go in excess of 20 miles per hour. So it is important. Now, if you're on one, the category three bikes that we talked about that can go up to 28 miles an hour, then you're precluded from no fault benefits. So I hope you have good health insurance because obviously if there's some type of a problem and you just wipe out on your e-bike, then you could have some difficulties. All right, uh, delineation there, it's the um, ability of the bike to go 28 miles, not if you were going 28. Correct. So they're in three categories, and people that ride these things, these enthusiasts, they kind of know the two categories, uh, this, the two categories, not the ones where you have to pedal, but the ones where you can pedal and have a throttle. As long as you're in one that can go only up to 20 miles an hour, you're okay. Anything over that, that's where the problems potentially lie because they fall within the category, like I said, of a motorcycle which takes you out of the no fault in New York State, which is a problem for people. Sounds like if you're going to get one or you're going to ride one, you should know the category and the rules. That's why uh, Salino Law is there to help you with the personal injury attorneys at Salino Law. They represent injury victims throughout New York State. If you've been involved in any type of personal injury, including an electric bike accident, Salino Law can help. Their offices are located at 800 Delaware Avenue in Buffalo. And for more information, you can always call the office. It's all eight, 888-888-8888. You can also head to their website. Great information on that website too, salinolaw.com to learn more about all the different services and law that Salino Law provides.